In this video, we're going to look at the setup and installation of the MaxCut software. We're also going to take a look at how to import the materials list, which is available from the National Glass website. I'm going to assume at the start of the video that you have already downloaded the install file for MaxCut, as well as the materials list from the National Glass website. If not, you may want to pause this video, download those files, and then continue from there to follow with me. Okay, so first we want to install and set up the MaxCut software. We do this by double-clicking on the MaxCut software icon, and we can agree to the terms and conditions, hit install, and the system will run the setup process. Once installation is complete, you can close the install window. You see now on the desktop we have a new MaxCut icon, this MaxCut V2. That there is the program file. We're going to start by double clicking on that. And the system will then bring up your setting selector. It is not necessary to run through the detailed setup unless you are wanting to set up very fine details. So for this video, we're going to look at a simple setup. It's important to note that at any point, should you want to change any settings, you can do that from within the MaxCut software. So we're going to select simple setup. We're going to select I speak English Great Britain. We would prefer to use a measurement of millimeters in South Africa. And then we start getting to the optimization settings. The first setting that they ask is what type of optimization method you would prefer. They have the option of normal, multi-stage with the first cut following the length of the sheet, and then multi-stage with the cut following the width of the sheet. I'm going to select normal. Normal puts everything in a nice maximum utilization block where if you look at the multi-stage cutting, you can see the gaps that it puts in between the parts that it nests. So normal, and we then see at the bottom that any re-optimization will change the results if possible. I would suggest that you check that and go next. Blade thickness would depend on your cutting blade. Because we are looking at glass products, we would keep the blade thickness as zero because your glass cutter would score and then break with zero loss in the cut. Click next. The system then asks where you would like to have your wastage placed. The options are maximize or group at the bottom. I would opt for group at the bottom for the simple reason that if you look at our graphic, it allows us to cut off that wastage so that we can use it for any other jobs that might be able to fit the, the product in. If we use maximize, it might give you a better yield on your glass, but you can't recover any of the glass that is within the parts that it, that it optimizes. So group at the bottom. Then it asks you how you would like your panels to be labeled on the screen diagram. The options are letters, numbers, or panel name. I would prefer panel name. This here is really preference. It all hinges on what information you want to see on the optimization layout. For me, to see the job name is the best way to organize my parts. If you would prefer to see a letter or a number, that's your choice. How would you like the panels to be labeled on the reports? Again, I'm going to go for panel names. How would you like your optimization layouts to be grouped? This totally preference. I'm not going to change anything, and I'm going to go to next. And that's it. You're set up and ready to go. You can close the About Max Cut screen, and the system will open to your default startup page which is the new job file. Now to import your materials from the materials list provided on the National Glass website. The materials list has been provided to make it easier to get you started with the MaxCut software. We saw at the beginning of the video that I had already saved the CSV file to my desktop. That there is what we are going to now import into the system. To import, select the Manage 
button on the top of the screen. Go down to materials and go into sheet. When the sheet page opens, you can keep the default materials that are provided with the system. I'm going to delete these because I don't want them to clutter the system. So one by one, we will delete all of those. We now have a nice clean system. And all we're going to do is click on the import export drop down, select import CSV. You shouldn't need to change any of the settings on the import screen. Click import, double click, and the materials have now installed. We can confirm this from the added 27 line items and push OK. And there all of the materials have been transferred. If you watch our video on creating new sheets and sheet sizes, you will also see that the correct way of setting up your system is not to have each sheet size noted in this list, but rather to have a main thickness category, as we've got here for our 10, 12, 15. And then within those categories, if we open them up, you will see that there are smaller sheet sizes noted. The system will then find the best sheet size to optimize your parts onto. For more on that, please watch our video on adding materials to MaxCut. And that is it. Your system is now ready to go. Watch out for our other videos for detailed elements of using MaxCut software. Also follow us on social media for news and updates related to national glass distribution. And feel free to contact us via our website for any information on any of our other products.